Yo guys, so I keep seeing these articles way more than I should be and the mainstream media isn't talking about it and even these articles aren't being pushed out enough. But the sad reality is thousands of people aren't coping in lockdown and some people are taking their own lives. Now this could be your mum, brother, sister, grandparent, friend, anyone you care about could be going through this and none of us like the idea of the people we love going through pain or suffering. So we need to start reaching out to family and friends more. During this tough time make sure you're ringing the people you care about, make sure you're checking up on them and make sure they're okay. Okay. The reality is we've all been in lockdown for over two months now and that's going to have an effect on everyone's mental health and some people would have been already struggling with bad mental health before this lockdown. And this lockdown will make everyone's mental health 10 times worse even if you normally have quite good mental health. So we need to talk more and it's down to us to check up on the people we care about and make sure they're coping okay during this tough time. And if you're suffering from bad mental health or suicidal thoughts or anything along them lines during lockdown or even after the lockdown in any normal day then you can reach out to your family and friends and for a lot of people there'll be someone who will help them but if family and friends aren't available for you in that way then there's these helplines which are on the screen right now which you can call at any time of the day and some of these helplines have websites too where you can type out what you want to say instead of saying it over the phone to someone in case you find that easier and i'll also put these helplines and the websites down in the description of this video and also if any of you ever just need a chat about anything then you can always message me on my social media it's time to take this more seriously and let each other know we do care i'm going to show you a few other people who have sadly ended their lives during lockdown now by doing this i mean no disrespect to the people or to their families i just want to raise awareness on how serious this is and how it can affect anyone we know Emily's family said she had been deeply affected by the global pandemic and she wanted to volunteer to help people with mental illnesses through the isolation measures. The family have said so many people have messaged them saying Emily helped them through hard times of their own. She was described as a really fun, energetic, happy girl. She was only 19. Dennis, an 83-year-old grandfather, felt vulnerable and was scared of contracting the virus, his grandson said. He was described by family as the life and soul at family parties, dancing away to rock and roll hits and wooing the ladies. His grandson said his endless stories would always entertain us. Kian was only 15. His mum has urged families to tell their kids it's okay not to be okay. He was a kickboxer and he was known by family and friends as a polite teenager who thought of everyone and was an incredible older brother to sister Darcy. Kian's parents said despite having a love for life, young Kian's mood changed in the space of a few days. Beth was a very talented 17 year old. <laughs> Her dad said she was a wonderful daughter and that she was funny and lit up the room. He went on to say she was affectionate and loving and in his words had the world at her feet. Beth was studying at a music college and wanted to do music as a career. There's been a Just Giving page set up in her memory so I'll put the link to that in the description if you want to donate. It is time to take this seriously and show each other we care. Whoa. 